Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between starters, soft starters, and VFDs. The different types of applications we might use these in, and the types of things we want to consider when choosing one of these devices. Let's first talk about starters. Starters simply allow us to start and stop a motor. Typically they're used in industrial applications. They allow us to control the start and stop function from a remote location. Starters also commonly allow us to monitor the state of the motor, whether it's on or off. This is referred to as run status. Starters consist of just a few different components. First, the contactor. The contactor operates much like a relay in that when the coil on the contactor is energized, it allows the contacts to slam shut, allowing current to pass through to our motor. They also have an overload. The overload's purpose is to monitor the current that is passing through to our motor and make sure that we don't have too much overcurrent that will allow our motor to overheat and burn up. Also commonly used with starters, we have some form of circuit protection. This allows us to protect the motor against any high spikes and in inrush current or voltage. Starters are going to be used in applications where we only need basic motor control, where torque or wear on the motor is not a major concern and where we don't need any type of speed control. Some advantages of using a starter is first off, they're going to be a much more lower cost than some of the other options. They allow us to remotely start and stop a motor. They also are very safe, they're efficient, and they give us the ability to monitor the state or the run status of the motor. Some of the disadvantages that come with using a starter is that they allow for a full torque start of our motor. What this means is when we start our motor, we get a large inrush of current. This inrush can sometimes be as much as six to eight times of the full load amp rating of our motor. So this large inrush of current causes the motor to ramp up much more quickly, putting much more torque and stress on the motor. This causes the motor to damage and causes more wear over time. Another disadvantage with starters is because they allow such a high inrush of current and they only run at the full load amp rating of the motor, we have a higher operating cost due to this. Next, let's talk about soft starters. Soft starters provide all the same functionality as a starter, but they allow us to protect the motor from high spikes in voltage that may cause damage to our motor. They do this by preventing that large inrush of current to our motor, by limiting the voltage and current when we first start our motor. So by limiting this voltage and current upon startup, it allows us to slowly ramp up the speed of the motor, which causes less wear and tear. Now, soft starters are commonly used only upon startup, However, depending on the model, we can see them used in the shutdown process of a motor as well. Keep in mind with a soft starter, once we actually get up to the full load amps or full speed of our motor, it operates the exact same way as a normal starter. So some common applications where we might see soft starters used is where we are concerned about the torque or the wear and tear on our motor. We also might see them in applications where we wanna reduce the inrush current when we start a mower, which allows us to save cost and the longevity of our motor. Another common application we might see these used is in pumping systems, where we want to reduce the pressure surge by a sudden start or stop of our motor. Or any application where we are starting and stopping our motor on a frequent basis because of that heavy inrush of current and wear and tear that it can cause on our motors. So some of the main advantages of using a soft start versus a starter is because we are allowing the motor to ramp up slowly, it reduces the inrush current to our motor. Because of this, it saves on operating costs. It also allows us to increase the longevity of our motor because we're not putting so much torque and wear and tear on that motor upon startup. A few of the disadvantages associated with soft starters is cost. They are a little more expensive than a starter, and also they don't give us full motor speed control if we need that operation. Lastly, we're gonna talk about VFDs or a variable frequency drive. A VFD provides all of the same functionality as both a starter and a soft starter, but also gives us some added functionality. A VFD gives us the ability to ramp up and down the speed of a motor during the start and stop function. It also gives us the ability to give full speed control during the entire run cycle of the motor. Because of these efficiencies, VFDs allow us to run the motor at a much lower cost while also reducing the wear and tear and stress on the motor. Some very common applications where we see VFDs used are in scenarios where we need full speed control over our motor. Another application where we commonly see VFDs used is where energy savings is very important. One specific example, 
Laws that govern how much power is required to run a motor at a certain speed, we can actually run a motor at about 70% speed and only need about 35% of the full power needed to run that motor. This offers us a huge savings in electrical cost. It also allows the motor to operate with much less stress and torque, allowing it to last much longer. Some other applications where we commonly see VFDs used are where we need more custom control and monitoring in our motor systems. So the advantages of using a VFD include everything that we get from the soft starter, as well as full speed control of our motor. That includes during the start and stop operation, and also during the full run cycle of the motor. It also gives us increased protection of our motor, decreasing the wear and tear and stress of our motor over time. So because of this, it allows for the lowest operating cost of all three options that we have discussed today. It also gives us the ability to monitor and control our motors more effectively. A few of the disadvantages associated with VFDs are first cost. They do cost more than both soft starters and starters. They also are going to be much larger in most cases, and so we need to take that into consideration when planning our motor starter scenarios. Lastly, VFDs do put off more heat than the other two options, so we need to make sure that we plan for proper cooling and ventilation of our systems. So now let's compare the three different options. First, we have the starter, which again is going to be the lowest cost option, all the way up to the VFD, which is going to be the most expensive option, with the soft starter falling somewhere in between. So starters offer no speed control, which means they ramp up quickly and they stay at full speed the whole time that they're running. Soft starters give us a gradual ramp up in speed until they get to full speed and then they stay there and operate much like a starter. Where a VFD gives us full motor speed control, which allows us to ramp up and down the speed during the start and stop, as well as the full run cycle of the motor. Next, we have very little monitoring with a starter, maybe run status. A soft starter gives us a little extra monitoring if we need it, but a VFD gives us the ability to fully monitor our motor control. When we're talking about wear and tear of our motor, a starter is going to be the hardest on our motor. Because it ramps up so quickly and there's such a high inrush of current, our motor becomes damaged and degrades over time much more quickly. Whereas a VFD gives us very minimal motor damage and wear over time because of the control that we have. Whereas a soft start falls somewhere in between because it allows us to slowly ramp up only upon startup and in some cases upon operation shutdown. So lastly, let's talk about the cost savings and efficiency of using each of these options. With a starter, it is going to be the least efficient of the three options, which gives it the highest operating cost because of the way it functions. With the soft starter, we do get a little bit more efficiency because of that slow ramp up, which gives us a little bit more operating cost. But with the VFD, we get by far the highest efficiency because of the ability to fully control the motor's speed, which gives us by far the lowest operating cost of the three options. For a full line of starters, soft starters, and VFDs, and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.